Hello there! My name is Reza, I'm the audio lead from Creative Mobile and today I'm gonna make an audio review for the beautiful, beautiful game called Nedge. It is really, really great looking. So we'll start from the menu. There are no sounds for the icons, but I suppose that the developer and the sound designer would do that. Here is a cute detail when I'm trying to change the control control the change of the SFX volume and get this cute bird sound. That's what I would have expected from such a game which looks that beautiful and uh, well there is attention to detail. I like that. That's my like. Let's begin. So, there are a lot of natural textures in the game as we enter it. We can wander through the snow and we hear the wind. It is all very natural. I hope you can hear the sound of the footsteps. Because it's really cute, it's really lifelike. Hear the thunder. It, it is also lifelike, the birds are also lifelike. So, no problem so far, yeah? The music is written in acoustic instruments. Yeah, we can hear some piano there. And there are also some strings. We can't hear it yet, but there are strings. The bushes sound natural. The birds sound natural too. And let's try to make sound. Why do I sound like a robot? I sound like someone who's using Vocaloid to speak. I'm not getting it. Do I look like a robot? No, I look like a sweet, beautiful creature from an indie game. Well, the music is really dramatic and I love it when uh, the, the cutscene begins or the other part of the game begins and we can hear that dramatic, epic music. It is so beautiful. Well, <laughs> here are the boards. One of them just bite me in the ass. Here's my dog. Yeah. Hey. The dog sounds robotic as well. I'm not getting it at all. Uh, there is uh, this piano and string theme. Every sound texture except my voice and except the dog voice is natural. Why do we sound so robotic? I'm not getting it. Well, um, let's go further. Here are pigs. See them? And they sound like klaxons. You hear that? That is actually a very smart idea, as I think, because the Klaxon sounds and the pig sounds resemble each other in, in a way. So that sounds natural too. And that sounds a little bit dangerous because the klaxon signal is... Uh, oh, dog! I'm trying to speak here! Well, that sounds like uh, a signal that something is wrong. So I'm completely getting it. Uh, then we can go to another location and try to find something that the dog wants. The dog is vegetarian, it eats only apples. Unfortunately, I don't happen to have any apples. I have a stick. Do you want to get a stick? 
No, I don't want to get a stick. Please get me an apple. So here are apples, and I'm trying. Yeah, all three in a row. How do you get that? When the dog is eating the apples, we hear this um, acoustic-ish sound uh, that sounds like uh, an oboe or some other musical instrument, but it wouldn't... I just don't know, I'm not getting it why the dog is speaking in two different voices. Why would it be so? Hey doggo, eat this apple, eat another apple. I am still hungry. Oh god. It is just so difficult to have a vegetarian dog. Did you say that? So, get the apple. The dog is happy, I'm happy, the cutscene begins. That is so good. Yeah. And then, it appears that the game isn't totally cute. It isn't completely about something um, friendly, <laughs> I would say that. So, if I come to that person from which I'm hiding in the bush, they will kill me. Let's try that. Yeah? They shoot me in the head! Me, the super cute creature speaking in the robotic voice. And here is the ghost which sounds synthesized too. I'm not getting uh, the system that uh, those sounds um, th those sounds belong in within the game because uh, there is actually no system as you can see. Some of them are synthesized, some of them are natural. Just not getting it. Actually, I tried to give this bouquet to this awful person and they wouldn't accept it. They shot me in the head. Why? Oh god. Why in the head? Well, uh, then I tried to find a stick. By the way, when I'm trying to get a stick from the tree, there is no sound. It would be good to have some when I'm trying to grab a from the ground there is no sound as well and I don't think it's good so let's try to distract them they went somewhere I went somewhere else okay there are some more hunters and I should be quiet there is a dangerous sounding hunter hunting dangerous sounding boar. And there is me. I'm not making any sound. There is another hunter. I will try to distract them as well. Oh, and they are gone. I'm trying to run to the bush. Hey, Dogo, why did you take this stick? It wasn't supposed to be yours. I'm trying to save our lives here. Why is there no music? That is a riddle. Well, here is a crow. I would expect them to sound uh, with some synthesized texture. Let's see that. Why would it sound like a real crow? Where is the system? Not getting it at all. And here is this person snoring. I will try. Oh no! That wasn't a good idea. As you can see, the music is dynamic. Yeah, it actually switched to the running theme. And now, as I'm in the bush, the running theme has ended. Okay, said the hunter. I'll go and snore again. 
and then we come through the woods we can scare the crows with a realistic sound why would that be so not getting it and the pigs what's with you oh poor things i can't do anything with them yeah you see doggo Very, very sad that I cannot do anything. Uh, as we can hear, the birds sound like mallets here. Maybe I'm mistaken, but when I was trying to make this speed run the last time, they were sounding like mallets, and now they are sounding like a real crow! Wow! I'm not getting it at all. So I think there is a great problem with the narrative here. I would suggest that... Oh no! I will tell that later. There is a cutscene which is actually very, very sad. My vegetarian dog is very upset about this pig. And I'm very upset about it too. Well, I discovered that I should make a bouquet of four flowers and put it here by the pig. And then everything is alright. Hey, I love you, Dogo. You are so good. And <laughs> what I didn't expect of that scene that I can actually take the bouquet and go away with it. Why the hell am I allowed to do that? No pig, here's your bouquet. You deserved it. You had a beautiful life in this windy forest with the snow. And I'm coming to get a mini game. It is so cute. It is difficult, but it is cute. So the dog says which exactly cloud should we pick. And uh, if we get a wrong one, we would lost, we would lose all this core that we have. But if we win, everything is good. Here is some beautiful music, but here is a problem with the panning, because when the dog says something, it is strictly in the left ear. I assume that it might be so, because the dog is sitting somewhere in the left. But it's... I think it's sitting in the center of the screen. Yeah. Here is the field with the tulips. And the sunset, or the sunrise. It is so calm, so beautiful. Maybe those are not tulips, by the way. It's winter. We are in the forest. Don't forget that. Here are the mushrooms. The dog is dancing. Why I? Why am I not dancing? Am I depressed? No! No! We've lost every other mushroom. Except the mummy mushroom. Hey, mummy mushroom. What can I help you with? She says nothing. There is just dramatic music. It's very beautiful. There is a hunter. But he wouldn't do anything. He just gives no for me at all. There is another hunter. They're just watching me. What are you doing, maniacs? I'm already scared. There is a mushroom. I think there might be some audio tips on where I should find the baby mushrooms. Maybe there are some other tips that I don't, that I'm, I'm not getting them. But if they said something, if uh, there was some dynamic music when, I, when I'm, I'm approaching the baby mushroom, it would help me a lot because I'm that kind of person 
I would get lost anywhere on any map. So once the baby mushroom got lost, I got lost as well. Hey, I brought you a baby, but I can take it away. But I wouldn't do that because I'm really very, very kind. I'm trying to be kind. Here are the birds that sounds very natural. By the way, the mushroom wouldn't sound natural. It sounds mockingly synthesized. Still not getting it. What's that? There's a picture that might might be saying about something that I should find on the map or whatever. But I'm stupid, I'm not getting it. Still, I'm gonna find that baby mushroom. By the way, soundscape is really good. I feel like I'm really in this cold winter forest. And my t-shirt wouldn't help. I wanna cover myself with some blanket. Hey doggo. By the way, this is realistic. The thing that the dog, the dog is always talking about something. I have a cat who is very talkative and he does this every time he comes. Luckily, he's sleeping right, right now. Baby mushroom, I will take you home. Actually, I might talk to the mushrooms. Why am I saying no words to them? And what happens there? <laughs> hey, doggo, let's go. Doggo, let's go. The music is really cute. I can just stay here and listen to the music. I love it, mushroom music. Really mushroomy. Okay, where should we go? I have to get some apple for the dog. What the hell is going on? Can't get any apples. There are no apples, doggo. What are you trying to tell me? Hey, 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 hey. I lost in the textures. Hey, hey. What the hell? No, I don't have any apples. Why the hell are you vegetarian? You could, you could just eat that bird. I could try to get it for you. But you wouldn't eat it. If you're so vegetarian, why wouldn't you eat a flower, for example? No, no, only apples. Okay. Let's try to find some. Last uh, time I was trying to find an apple, I got lost. Oh no, oh no, I got lost again. But there was a tip somewhere in the bottom of the map that I should go somewhere to the right. We are freezing, Doggo. I think that the soundscape here might have gotten really stronger, sharper with all that wind and snow getting into our faces. I think the music is like dramatic, but it's more lyrical than what's happening on the screen because we are literally freezing. The wind has gotten a little bit harder, but it's just a little bit. What we see here is the real snowstorm. What's that? What's that? Did you hear that? Was that a war? I didn't get the sound earlier. Hey, Dogo. Help! Oh, yeah, that was me. I said, Nobody helped me. I'm afraid 
frozen? No, please. So it's been like it's frozen. Here, do I go? Hello. I'm the strongest creature here. I will take you somewhere. And there's some light. I think that this light can actually have some sound as well. And as we get into this storm, and as we die, I assume, did we die? All the sounds of the wind, of the snow, may go away, actually, because those are... Those make no sense when we are dead. But then we got to this house, and I think that here we can have uh, the windy sounds. We can have them back. And then there should be some warmer soundscape, like we got to a place which is warm and we are gonna get warm. So, this is the end of the demo. I would say that the game is really beautiful, I really like the art style, but this uh, art style, this uh, indie game uh, approach for the original graphics, for the very, very original narrative, requires a lot of attention to details. I saw that in the menu, so I think it, is, uh, it has already started, so I hope that uh, guys will will do the greatest sound that uh, you can for this game because it really deserves the greatest sound and what would I, what else would I say that uh, I'm not seeing how the narrative is supporting the sound because all those mm, synthesized tex textures um, this uh, the realistic textures wouldn't make sense to me as uh, a player so i hope that uh, you will pay attention to that as well anyway i had a lot of fun i had a lot of uh, strong emotions when playing this game so thank you very much and uh, i wish you all the good luck <laughs>